All right, we gave notice earlier on today to the Taoiseach on the Tanishta that Sinn Féin is launching a campaign against what it refers to as the property tax. Now, it's not a property tax, it's a family home tax. And it's absolutely and totally unacceptable. The government uh, have to bring in legislation and we're asking people to stand very, very firm in this issue, to campaign and to lobby. They don't have to do it with us, they can just do it uh, wherever they have the opportunity. And we're putting forward an alternative. We're saying to the government, tax wealth, not family homes. Now, in the last 10 minutes we just discovered that the government's intention is to rush this legislation through. And there are a number of urgent pieces of legislation which have been delayed and delayed and delayed. But this one has been given a priority. And that's obviously because the government knows that it's unpopular and doesn't want to let its deputies out over the Christmas period to listen to what citizens have to say on this issue. So we're given very, very, very clear notice that we're going to oppose this budget and we're going to oppose this family home tax. And we call upon everyone, regardless of their politics, and call upon others and all of the uh, parties in the Dáil and those who are independents to join us in this endeavour. Jerry, um, on the radio this morning, Michael Lynn confirmed that couples who are neg negative equity will not receive any allowances in property tax. And secondly, your reaction to the, um, his assertion that councils will be allowed to vary the rate by 15%, do you think that it's open to abuse? Sorry, I didn't hear the last part of your question. Uh, the 15% that councils will be able to vary the national rate um, by above or, or lower, will it be open to abuse by councils? Well, w whatever about abuse, uh, the fact is that <coughs> this is a budget which is more or less a budget for the elites. It's a budget for the wealthy, it's a budget for the bankers. And, and, and right across, if you go through it in detail, and people are now sitting at home or did it last night, working out what this means for their particular household. Uh, the, the lower and middle income families, people who are unemployed, carers, you know, the, the dreadful thing that Mary Lou highlighted this morning about uh, respite allowance has been taken off uh, families who give full-time care to loved ones without any payment, upwards of 20,000, without any payment whatsoever from uh, the state that's been taken from them is absolutely despicable. So, you know, attempts by uh, Michael Noonan to spin any of this, you know, this is the man who said that immigration was uh, a lifestyle, a choice. This budget will make it almost certain that more and more of our young people will start to pack their bags and leave for Australia or Canada or America or who will decide they're not going into further education or they can't stand further education because of what's happening. Do you think there should be allowances for people who are in negative equity as well? I think this, this particular uh, charge, this very, very inequitable, unfair tax needs to be scuppered. I think the government needs to uh, reverse its position on it and we will have between now and Christmas upwards of 40 meetings across the state trying to mobilise and there are decent people in all the parties in there, I made that point point earlier on, they should stand against this also. Your offer, Ella, just free loot this line of free children's allowance. Um, look at all the cool venturing hostel, I should do like my art home chin. Well, Neil is so good. You know, Tommy, I guess Jack Lash, Dini, us and Luck Dabra, I can sort of say, wrestling with our consciences. Well, Tashans, Aku, Hasov, Ayano, Aaron, Aaron, and Rudshaw, Votoil, and Eden there. Shin, Shin, and Shin, and Rawa, Tarawa, Ahan Dinner. So it's 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 Rod Gohan, Melchinok, Dana, and and real to say Glock. Ari get ash na paiste yagus as na lani. So tara mar dirt me egan lock debra huisha. Just on the issue that uh, Mary Lou raised in the dog this morning on the respite uh, here, Grant, there was some indication um, by Minister uh, Brian Hayes on News Talk this afternoon that he might revisit it. Would you encourage the government to do so? Well, I Ab absolutely, as Jerry has said, we want them to revisit the whole desperate budget that they've presented. But as I said earlier today, they've failed the fairness test comprehensively. But this particular allowance for respite isn't even about fairness, it's about decency. And I think if there is a shred of decency left in this government, any part of it, then this will be revisited immediately and they will come out immediately and say that they are making a, a reverse on this cut. It is unthinkable 
that people who care for loved ones, some of whom have very, very severe disabilities, would be denied the few quid they need just for a rest, just for a holiday, just for a break. I, th I think it is actually disgusting that they have even thought of this measure. So they need to reverse it and they need to reverse it uh, now. And carers are planning to march to, tomorrow to the Dáil, which is Port uh, and, and good for them. And it, can I just say that uh, in respect of all others, in respect of this, this tax uh, on family homes, it is going to require people to really take a stand now. They're going to have to come out. They may have to come here to the Dáil. They have to let their public representatives know that people cannot take this additional uh, hit. And people in here, in, in this establishment, need to cop themselves on a little bit and understand that they are tipping people masses of people into hardship and poverty and that's not good for society and it's not good for the economy. And I think what's particularly important is that and what calls people isn't just that they can't pay for this but that the government consistently picks on them and people like them and awards itself or its special advisors obscene amounts of money lets former Taoiseachan ministers go off on big pensions and rewards the very bankers who created the difficulties that we're in at this time. And I think Mary Lou makes a very, very salient point. People should not be daunted about this. This government has been turned and it can be turned again and people need to make a stand on this issue. On the issue of the household tax, it's different from the household charge and that it will be collected by revenue. What sort of implications does that have for your campaign when you're asking people literally the implications in terms of tax clearance etc etc are huge if people don't pay this charge? Well the first point has to be uh, to try and ensure that the government reverses its position and bringing forward this particular uh, piece of obscenity. That's the first, the first uh, point. It isn't law yet. It is a proposal by the government. Everybody in the government benches has to go in and vote for that. So if I'm out there and this is affecting me, I should be in touch with my Chakta Dalla or my Shanador or my local councillor this evening, tomorrow, the next day and the next day and the next day. And that should be the first uh, tactical focus. Get them to stop this legislation. Secondly, we're putting forward an alternative. Tax the wealth, not households. Tax the wealth, not the family home. There's an alternative. It isn't if we're just, you know, given off about this and railing against this, we're actually saying there's another way which is socially fair of raising this money by taxing the wealth. The wealth's out there, ordinary people and their households should not have to bear the burden. And I would appeal for people to make a stand on this issue.